This is Dean DaCosta, and, and today is going to be the first part in a series on Chrome, uh, the web browser, and the extensions, add-ons, and apps that you can use them. Specifically, how to set up your Chrome browser to, from a security perspective and maintenance perspective to handle the extensions and everything. Uh, extension add-ons um, and, and the apps are basically mini apps that work within Chrome to do a whole lot of really great stuff. You guys have all heard of them, Connect6, Connectifier, 360 Social, and a plethora of others. But you, there are some things you need to be aware of uh, in doing this. So we're going to start um, with some of the, the Chrome-specific maintenance things. Um, when you got Chrome, you know, you see all your extensions and your, your, your um, bookmarks and everything. That's great. Over here, these three lines get you into this drop-down where the settings are. First thing with Chrome, you need to remember to sign into your Gmail account. So this way, any changes or updates you get to it will travel with you and sync with you uh, wherever you go. So if you're using someone else's computer and you sign in, you'll have your stuff there. That's number one. Number two, you go down to the About area and make sure you're using the most up-to-date version of Chrome. In this case, it's pretty simple to do. It tells you what version you're using right there. In this case, I'm good to go. In the Extensions bar you'll notice all your extensions. Now, if there's a problem with an extension, it will show it here. So you can always just go down here and look kind of quickly, as I'm doing, to make sure there are no uh, issues. There isn't now. There was yesterday. I took care of it. The other thing is you need to remember, like I said, extensions, add-ons, they're all mini apps, and so they do get updated and need to be updated. Some are done automatically. Some are not. I have a habit of updating my extensions once a week. I have it in my calendar to remind me to do it. And that you do it by pushing this button. Now, if for some reason you don't have this button, that all you have to do is check the developer mode, and that button will appear for you, and you'll be good to go. Now, the only tool outside of this that I'm going to talk about today is Extensity. I've talked about it. I've written about it before. It's a great tool that allows you to quickly see all of your extensions and add-ons. It allows you to quickly activate and deactivate them. As you can see right there is Archively. Here's Archively. If I check Archively, it goes away. If I check it again, it comes back. The reason you want to do that is because they do eat up resources. Uh, so you only want to activate the ones you use all the time and then um, the ones you don't use all the time only activate them when you need them and then deactivate them. As you can see, I have a lot of both. And sometimes they don't all work nice together. So sometimes you have to have one activated and then deactivate it, activate the other to make it work. And that's pretty much it for today on the Chrome. Next week, uh, next one, we're going to talk a little bit more about some other um, tools that you really need to have for Chrome to make it work right, keep yourself out of trouble, and do things the right way. And uh, this is Dean DaCosta, and we were talking Chrome and Chrome's extensions and add-ons.